let me walk you through the study. Our study was called Blood Pressure Checks for Diagnosing Hypertension. We wanted to know what was the most accurate and acceptable way to diagnose hypertension. Before I signed up for this study, I, um, probably like most people, just went to the doctor fairly regularly, maybe a few times a year, and every time I went, you know, as part of the routine, they check your blood pressure, and um, it was high. But I would always say something like, oh, you know, I was running to get here. I always thought there was some other explanation. We randomized 510 people who had high blood pressure, no diagnosis of hypertension, and were not on any hypertension medications to one of three groups. The first group, clinic, we asked them to return to clinic and have their blood pressure measured again. This is typical usual care. The second group, we gave home blood pressure monitors and we asked them to measure their blood pressure twice a day for five days. The third group, we asked them to measure their blood pressure at a blood pressure kiosk. All three groups came back after three weeks and had their blood pressure measured using the 24-hour monitor. I wore a monitor for 24 hours and then um, the study sent me the results and I looked at them carefully and I looked at the times of day and I looked at the blood pressure readings. It was a pretty big wake-up call because um, my blood pressure was high even in the middle of the night. We found that over 60% of the uh, patients who had hypertension on the 24-hour test were missed. Home blood pressure did much better. Most of the patients were detected. And kiosk also did pretty well too. It didn't miss very many people. However, home was closest on average. Without the study and really learning definitively, no, this is actually something I do have. Uh, no, I don't think I ever would have changed my lifestyle. I certainly would have taken the medicine and um, yeah, no, I'd, I'd still be having high blood pressure today, I'm sure.